on today's episode of Moto Cheese. What's up, mini truck? All right, took the air box out. I'd like to do some kind of a snorkel. Put a little intake tube. I noticed it's the intake. But just like everything, as you go out, it should get bigger. Correct? This has this little thing. It's going smaller. Look how small that is. And I'm going to have to cut a piece off of this. Have it so it fits in here. Weld it up. Cut this all out, weld it onto there, and then that'll be my out. Yeah, it's not a bad box. It's good waterproof with the original cover. Looking through the hole, it has a good, decent flow. I mean, that's big. This is big. Oh, I think it'll work. I may use some kind of a silicone because it's spot welded. I might do the same. All I know is that is very restrictive, in my opinion. Now this goes like this. It's already pointing there. It'll be shorter. It'll run up against the inside, back over, and I could put it here. Who knows? Maybe I could put it somewhere else. My son come up with a good idea to cut into this, and then cut some louvers in there put some louvers in here and use this as a cold air intake i'd have to block that off there's a couple drains on the bottom i'd have to put like a plug that you could let water out but that would actually be a decent idea That should do it. A little bit shorter than that probably, but once I roll it around I can figure that out. Plasma, look at that. Right after a cut. Isn't that nice? Now I gotta find something to roll this around. Oh, right here. This should work. If I did everything right, and that's closed, oh, boy, that's, that's perfect. I sure wish somebody on eBay or Amazon wanted to sponsor Moto Cheese for a new plasma cutter, 50 amp or more. Hint, hint. Message! Cut this back to like 90 wood. And a little FYI, if you weld on an angle instead of straight in, you get less penetration. Which means it'll not burn through the steel as easily. Not that I'm the guy that should teach you how to weld. But what I learnt, self learnt see? see? Look at that. I missed a spot. I grind that up a little bit. So I could put this cold air. I got a whole roll of this somewhere. Yeah, I, had to, I couldn't find anything this size, so I had to make it. What do you think? I cut it off of here.
think? I think if I bend all those tabs up, I can get it on that. Let's see if this is actually the shape. Oh boy, look at that. Just look at it. This might actually work. Yeah, I'm glad I took Metal Shop. Not bad. It's gonna work. Don't look too closely there, boys. Pretty good from this side. But I can't seal up in there. It's gonna have to be some kind of a silicone. Pretty good there, but up at the top, I'm not gonna be able to get in there. So I guess I'll have to silicone it. This is the air filter for my high jet S83P. I've been having an issue with many. If I put the air box on with this cover, it ends up my tack. When it gets up about 5,000 RPMs, whether you're under load or not, just that rev, well, you could see the tack bouncing. So I'd always take this cover off, and I put this on as a cover. You know, I'd poke the hole, and then I'd put that in there, and then it would draw from the outside. So I thought, well, maybe this is plugged. So I went to my local AutoZone. I also went to Advanced Auto Parts, and I brought this filter. As soon as I walk in, I told the person behind the counter, you're not going to be able to cross this over by my vehicle. It's not a standard import vehicle. And they looked it up. Oh, no, no. I said, can't you go in the back and look at what you have for square boxes? This is just a cartridge style. And pull it out and see. No. Nope. Well, so then I went to AutoZone. Same exact thing, right from start to finish. So I was like, well, this is ridiculous. So... I went to Walmart and I looked down the shelves and I matched up the boxes. Right? I said, that looks like about right. Isn't that easy for them guys to do? No one wanted to do anything. It was late. There was nobody else in the store. So I found this on the shelf in Walmart. Look at that. I mean, it's a little fatter, but it fits in there seals up nicely. I had to poke a hole in the top for a screw to come through. But you don't need the top open. I put that in there. I mean it's a little tight but it, it does work. Put it on and it does the same thing. So I don't know what it is. But the whole reason for my story is I found a filter at Walmart that'll fit. I don't know if anybody else cross this over or not but yeah it's a little bit bigger or round it's perfect you know and there's probably that much around the whole filter still that's plenty of area it seals up nice toward the bottom this is a really soft rubber like super soft but my air thing does not work my air mod i had big big plans for that too what would make the tachometer flake out at like 5,000. I mean, I can't go over 45 miles an hour if I put this cover on, even with this big hole. Is that there's some kind of a vacuum switch that knows when there's not enough air, but there's plenty of air. You can literally watch the tack jump. I thought maybe it's the vacuum advance. You know, like sometimes the older cars, because the vacuum advance kept moving that wire brake, so when it would advance to a certain point, it would shut off. It disconnected the vacuum hose and it still did it. I checked the grounds. All the grounds are good. I checked all the connections. The connections are good. But it's not something specific to that. It's specific to the air. It's got a butterfly. There's no flap or plunger that regulates the air like a CV constant velocity carburetor. So I'm baffled. Last effort to see whether maybe it is something to do with turbulence. I don't know. We'll see how it can. Let's take her for a test drive, boys. Now it's not doing it. Weird. 
All right, let's test her out, boys. I wouldn't even let it redline. Oh, yeah. Craziest thing. See it? What in the world? I didn't even have to go that far. I'm putting it back on. I've seen some crazy stuff. But that, my friends, makes no sense. How many fart smellers we got out there? I can explain that one. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products to use are in the description and on MotoCheese.com. Thanks for watching.